Exodus chapter 14, verse 13. Red Sea was a dog. <laughs> Hallelujah. And Moses said to people, Do not be afraid. Tell them, Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Are you seeing it? Which he will accomplish for you today. For the Egyptian whom you see today, you shall see again no more forever. Amen. Now look at this child of God. These are Israelites. Hello? Amen. And they are in front of the sea. And now the people who do not have the key to the sea, mm. they are crying. the end of us. Jesus. Hallelujah. Yeah. But Moses said, do not cry. Just be still. You know why you are eh? yes. always panicking? You don't have keys. <laughs> when you don't have keys, you are trying to do anything that you can. Yeah. We'll talk about it. Look at it. Guess what? The Lord will fight for you and you shall hold your peace. <laughs> if I go to my house, I found the, the door is closed. If I know that I have a key in my pocket, I'll have peace. I hope you. Hallelujah. Amen. If I do not have, it's a problem. That did my wife go now. Stress. Yeah. Uh, in other stress. In other stress. In other stress, yes. In other stress. And then he says, And the Lord said to Moses, Why do you cry to me? Tell the children of Israel to go forward. It was the door 
in front of the Israelites. And they needed a key for them to do what? To pass. You are about to receive your own keys in the name of Jesus. You are about to receive your own keys in the name of Jesus. What of Jericho? Jericho was a gate. Are you listening to me, child of God? Jericho was a what? If you read in Joshua chapter 6, verse uh, 20 and 21, let's go there. Why was Jericho a gate? Because they were going to possess the city. Are you listening to me? Are you with me, church? Are you learning something? Yes. Accessing supernatural gates and what? Doors. Are you there, Joshua? Chapter 6. I said this one. 20 and 21. Look at this. So the people shouted when the priest blew the trumpet. And it happened when the people heard the sound of the trumpet. And the people shouted with great, okay, shouted with a great shout that the wall, the wall of Jericho, the wall fell down flat. Then the people went up into the city. Every man stretched before him, and they took what the city to a and they utterly destroyed all that was in the city, both man and woman, young and old, ox and sheep and donkey, with the edge of the what the sword. You see. Everywhere you are going, you are finding the road, the sweat. Yesterday, what did I say the sweat is? Talk to me, what did I say the, the sweat is? The word of God. Are you listening to me, child of God? So, they took over Jericho. They possessed Jericho. Now, what did they do? They had to break the walls. Are you listening to me, child of God? Why? Because they were, they, the Israelites, they were taking over the territory. They were taking over a what? Eh? The territory. Child of God. I want you to know that anyone who is limited in this life is not limited because they desire to be limited. Anyone who is suffering in this life, they are not suffering because they desire to suffer. No one desires to be limited in this life. No one desires to live a life that is not good. But let me tell you something, child of God. The reason why you see people being limited, being poor, being oppressed, is one thing. They do not know how to control gates and what? Doors. I'm about to finish. Prosperity, write it down. <laughs> Prosperity as gates and what? Don't. Prosperity. Now I'm talking about prosperity. Later. Pula. <laughs> Hallelujah. Are you listening to me? Yes. The prosperity that you see, it has what? Gates and don't. If you want to start counting a thousand, you must enter a territory of what? Thousands. If you want to count two thousand or ten thousand, you must enter a territory of what? Ten thousand. If you want to enter a territory of millions, you, have, you must enter, if you want to count millions, you, have, you must enter a territory of what? Millions. If you think that being rich is just sleep and you wake up, So that you believe that these things, they are territories and they are doors. Are you with me, church? Isaiah chapter 45. Very soon I'll finish. Today I want to be very much calm.
Jesus, I'm hungry. Jesus, I'm thirsty. Satan. 
Are you listening to me, child of God? Amen. That is what? Babylon. Now, in this one we are reading now, we are now reading a time when Babylon, the city of Lucifer, are you listening to me, child of God? The kingdom of Lucifer will fall apart. And when it falls apart, people will begin to mourn who committed fornication. Are you listening to me? Amen. The Bible says who committed fornication and live like jealously with her. You see that? These people, they lived a very good life with this kingdom. Mm. These people, they committed fornication with this kingdom. Why? Let me show you. And then it says, they weep and lament for her when they see the smoke of her burning. They say, standing at a distance for fear of her torment, say, alas, alas, that great city, Babylon, that mighty city, for, for in one hour, your judgment has what? Your judgment has come. Please, listen to me. If you are here, and you are building your life on Babylon, it's time for you to be delivered. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Even the church now is building on Babylon. Many churches are building on Babylon. I'm about to show you something. I will have time to come and teach you about this thing called Babylon. Are you listening to me? Now look at this. They will be crying now. I ask your presidents, your ministers, all these rich, rich guys, they will be crying. Aras, aras. The great city Babylon, that mighty city. For in one hour, your judgment has come. Why are they crying, child of God? Hello? This is the city of darkness. This is the city that has gates. This is the city that has those. It controls everything that happens. Right now, this city is the one that is controlling the whole world as we talk right now. Are you listening to me, child of God? Oh, you think your government is alone? Your government is connected to Babylon. Any government is connected to Babylon. A government that is, you see, what is the name of the red president in Zimbabwe? What is his name again? Eh? Mugabe. You see Mugabe? Mugabe, the reason why they hated him was not connected to Babylon. Oh, you, you don't know these things. You know why? Who is this other one in uh, Tanzania who died? Uh, eh? Maku, Makufuli, right? You know why he died? He was not connected to... They killed him because if you see a country that is not connected to Babylon, they will make sure that your country suffers. So if you see a country that is independent, the thing that you see there is suffering. Oh, you are looking at me. Continue looking at me. But understand what I'm saying. Hallelujah. Amen. All these things you see, your government, they will tell, we are going to authorize care, we are going to do that. It is Babylon. Mm. That is why they, they, those are the arguments they give them. You must allow this in your country for us to support your country. Don't think those things, they just give them for free like that. Amen. Don't think like that. A lot of things are happening behind you. Hello? You think it's just a vaccine they are giving you? <laughs> Let's leave that one. Babylon wants to control now. Babylon here is to fall. Are you listening to me, child of God? Amen. Let me show you what Babylon does. In case you didn't see this verse, open your eye clear, clear. Tell them, open your eye clear, clear. Open your eye clear, clear. Verse 11. And the matters of the air will weep. Mourn over her for no one. You see, no one does what? Talk to me, no one does what? So I want to show you where they buy this from. No one buys their merchandise anymore. Merchandise of God. Minerals. They are there. They are the ones protecting the territory. I you listening to the child of God? You think no wonder you try to do a deal about minerals. You try this deal, it's not working. How many of you have tried to trade in minerals? Maybe you just like a small small things. Hallelujah. Let me leave that one. 
materials of gold and silver, precious stones and pearls, all these things coming on unto them. Are you seeing it? Stones and pearls, right? Okay, fine linen and purple, silk, silk and sacred, every kind of citron, wood, every kind of object of ivory, every kind of object of most precious wood, brass, iron, and marble, and cinnamon, and incense, fragrant, oil of flat incense, wine. Are you seeing these things I'm listening for you? Yes. Wine and oil. You see it? Fine flour and wet. Cattle, sheep, horses, chariots, bodies, bodies, and what? Sons of men. And what? Sons of men. Welcome to Babylon. <laughs> you see just a, 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 a who is this guy? Uh, what is his, this name? I swear he is now trading about him. Uh, uh, this guy was a gay. This one who, 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 who produced a shoe, a satanic shoe. What is his name? Eh? Is it Rax? Is it Rax? Nax. Eh? Nax. Now it's like he failed to win an award. He said, if. What did he say? <laughs> if I don't win an award, I'll still be what? I'll still be gay. Why? Just being gay is money. If you don't know, there's a, there's a place in South Africa. They pay you to be a gay. Mm. I'm telling you, even, even pastors, he says, he says, you can even go there for Bible. Some pastors, they'll be trained to be gay. I have my friend who went to them. You think it's just being gay? I am showing you here. They sell even bodies, souls of men. You want fame? I can take you to Babylon, the great city. Hello, you see young people, you as you are now, you are 35 or 40, 30. There are people right now, children, they are just uh, uh, maybe they are just 27, 25. But go and check the number of people following them on YouTube. You since you open your own, it's only 10 people. But those guys, it's like that. I was showing him one day. Are you understand what I'm saying? And these people, some of you have never even known them, but they follow crap. You think it is just by mistake that people are subscribing to them. They have sold their soul to the devil. And now the devil has given them the source of men. You just said, hey, I like this lady the way she sings. It's not about the way she sings. There is a spirit that is on her that is compelling you to love her. So some of you that are not spiritual, that is how you are. Be trapped into the tricks of the enemy. You are looking at me. Those are riches in darkness places. Dark places. And God was telling you that if you come to me, if I held your hand, you don't need to go that route. I will take you there. Take what belongs to you. Are you listening to me, child of God? Hello? Say, Father, Father deliver, me. deliver me. Deliver me. Some of you, you got possessed just by watching a song, a video song, a secular song. Some of you, it is this movie, some of these demonic movies, you can get possessed. You see movies? Okay, right now we are talking about Netflix, isn't it? It's trending, isn't it? We are enjoying it, isn't it? You may just see Netflix like that. You don't know a speed on Netflix. Hallelujah. All of us, including me, I did watch. I did watch. Hallelujah. But how come these things are trending? Hello? All of a sudden, you start behaving the way you never used to behave. What happened? What happened? It is the things you are hearing. It is the things that you are watching. Be very much careful. There are some of you who hate gospel songs. You are only attached to secular. If I come and touch your phone, hey, Jesus is coming soon. <laughs> Hallelujah. These songs you listen to, they are not just lyrics. They are spirits imparted in those songs. Do not allow anybody to deceive you. Hello? Is it, is it not this kind of secular songs that we used to listen to that made us to start looking for a girlfriend? 